So the final review out of the Future Stars Attackers Evolutions is going to be Milan. As you can see, this is the team that we've got her in. And this is my Manchester United past and present Evo squad. If you want to check out the content for this, it's on Vitalization 2. I highly recommend you go and do that. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you have a like on today's video. So, 90 Millard. 4 star, 4 star, up from 3 star, 4 star, I want to say. Medium, medium work rates, 5 foot 7. Of course, power header plus and acrobatic plus with Travella, press proven, and also chip shot. So she hasn't got the best playstyles in the world, I'll be completely and utterly honest. Her playstyles are quite poor for being completely and utterly fair. In terms of alternates, comes out as a left wing, can play left mid and striker, which is quite nice. And of course, being French, Manchester United, and from the Barclays Women's Super League, links are quite nice to her. So you won't struggle with that at all. In terms of the in-games, she has got probably the best in-games of any of the cards that you can take from this. 95 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. Great shooting stats with 93 attack positioning. 96 finishing, 89 shot power, 93 long shots, and 98 volleys. Very well versed in the passing department as well with 90 vision, 91 crossing, 92 short pass, 81 long pass, and 85 curve. It's quite nice to be fair, isn't it? Dribbling is where she's very good, but also a little bit on the low side in certain areas. 94 agility, 87 balance, 88 reactions, 95 ball control and dribbling, and also 88 composure. She's got 96 jumping. She is only 5'7", with 73 head and accuracy, up to 99 because of power header plus. She's got good strength at 84, and her stamina is good enough at 81. I don't have too many chem styles on this account. This is a full-on RTG, but I think... The Marksman is what I like the look of when I had a look at her originally. So with the Marksman applied, she goes up to 99 finishing, 93 shot power, 99 long shots. Goes up to 92 reactions, maxed out ball control and dribbling, up to 92 strength and 99 jumping. I think that's a really good boost. You could go for like a Hawk as well, or an Engine, if you want to boost up the balance a little bit. I think it's good enough as is. Of course, this is the team. 4-3-2-1 is the formation. And she should be playing on the right-hand side. I want her on stay forward, which she is. I also want her on get in behind. Let's get into a few games, guys, and see what she can do. If you need cheap, fast, and reliable FC24 coins, make sure to go to MMOEXP.com and use my code VIPER to get 5% off your order. Okay, then, guys, here we go. First game now coming up with Millard. I do feel like this card, even though it doesn't have the best set of play styles, is a bit insane. You know, first of all, her physicals are really good for a woman. Um, especially a wide player as well. So good stuff. Wow. Good start from her here. Wow. Go on, girl. Nice. Nice. Should be an assist straight away. There you go, guys. Look at that. That was really nice from Milan. More so than anything there. It was the physicals were really, really nice. Here she goes again. She's in again. She's in again. And she's got bang and shooting. Oh, a bit unlucky not to score there. Let's play, try and play it into her. Oh. Winners, winners. Come on, Yanazai. You've got to do better than that. I also do, guys, think she's uh, quite a cool striker, actually, because of her physicals yet again. Um, so you could certainly play her up front, you know, with how good her physicals are, with how fast she is, with power header, with acrobatic. Wow. She could make a really, really good striker. And I might try her there as well in these games that we are playing here. Is that another corner? Is it a goal kick? It's a goal kick this time. Let's see what she's like in here. I'm not really expecting too much from her at all in this department. Not bad. Not bad at all. She goes again. I love her sprint boost, man. She moves like, wow. Oh, I was going for the Travella there. I can't even lie to you lot. Back into her. Oof. Wow, she is a fighter, man. That's what I like about it. She fights for the ball a lot. I respect that. Majorly. And this guy's obviously a pretty decent player. Doing them over the tops and spamming into Kai Havertz, who is insane on this game, by the way. Nice from Maguire into Darmian. Derman plays it into Park. Park looks for Bruno. Bruno does really well there. Into Millard again. Her left stick dribbling feels quite nice. That's probably because she's got press proven, to be fair. Oh, Maguire, find that. Winners, winners, winners. Yeah, she's won it as well, you know. Oh, man. She's actually a lot better in the air than I suspected she was going to be. I am impressed so far, though, guys. I feel like what she offers is is quite nice. And as I said, we will try a striker probably in the second half of this game. I, she feels insanely fast, too. 
Go on then. She got remember as well. She's got really good crossing. Yeah, left stick dribbling. It's because she's got pre wow. Because she's got press proven, her left stick dribbling is incredible. That's all made from her again, there, guys. I'm very impressed. Let's get into another game. Okay, then, guys, here we go. Another live game now coming up with Millard. We're up against Ratman. And I've got a feeling, guys, that this might be. Oh, it's so hot. Wow. It's so hard to pick between Millard or Dina. Of course, they're entirely different players. But my God. This Millard has really, really impressed me. I mean, rest. I rest my case. That is crazy dribbling. She moves so fast. And she's got it all, really. The only thing she's missing is five-star skills. No way. What? She doesn't even have an shot, does she? That is a mad effort. Got to say, guys. Very, very impressed. And it really does put you in a position where you're like, mm, I really don't know who to pick. The, the, the thing is, I think Okafor is, is set in stone. I think, I think he's the best one. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, oh, I just not where I've aimed that, but okay. Left stick dribbling on her because she's got press proven. Is mental. Go on then. Oh. Oh. These cards are, are an absolute bloody joke, aren't they? All of these Evos that I've used thus far have been broken. I, I, I mean that broken, guys. Absolutely busted. This one's no different, it feels like. Her Travellers are mad. And her finesse shots seem quite good as well. As we are struggling to get the ball out here with the lads. Oh. That's just not a penalty. Thank you. There we go. Lovely. But right, it's not this long too, Millard. See if she can win this in the air. Go on, girl. No, didn't think so. Nice. Good play. Oh. It's really interesting testing out her physicals, you know, because she's small. And I think... When you come up against someone like a... Oh, my God. Nah. If you come up against, like, a Selma Basher, a Basher or um, Dodo or Hakimi or, like, a Kyle Walker, I think the battle there is, is is quite fair. And it'll be quite interesting to see how she would compete physically. I mean, she hasn't competed bad physically anyway. You know? Oh, my God, man. She... Considering she's not got the play styles, she is moving mad. Absolutely bonkers. Nice. That's just not where I've aimed it. Offside, right? Oh, Jesus, guys. Oh, Jesus. This is a, a very fun card, I would say. I, I still think Okafor is the most meta and the most fun. And I think you've got to make a decision between uh, Dina and... And Millard. Now, for me, of course, on this account, it was always going to be Millard because it's a Man United account. But I am, like, kind of shocked by all of these Evos. And it just goes to show that you don't need to spend money on this game. You just need to spend your time to get the good cards. And, and th th this card feels mad. Absolutely mad. So let's go to some highlights and see what we can do with Millard in the rest of this game because this is a sweaty one. One run, girl. Oh, that's a nice from Bruno. Nice, Millard. Look at her go again. Here she goes. Millard's in the box. Millard is in the box. Nice. Oh, no. I should have just shielded there up against Xavi, probably. Go on, Millard. Go on, Millard. Yes, come on. Good chance here for Millard on the counter. Nice ball from Bruno. Millard might be in here. She is in. Millard. Millard! What a finish, guys. She is so good on the break. She goes again. Into Bruno. Looking for Millard again here. Millard, Travella time. Travella time! Oh, it's a beauty again. Oh, that's actually a good chance for Millard again here. Winners, up you get, girl. Oh, unlucky. Oh. Oh, Millard's in again. Milan, it's a great finish, guys. Her finishing, her shots are mad. Absolutely crazy shots. Oh, yes. She is an absolutely insane counter-attack player. That goes. Oh, my word. She is so good on the counter-attack. Yep, 
Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, Travellers. All right, then, guys. Review is in on Millard. How good is this card? The answer is absolutely insane. Am I taking her over Okafor? The answer to that is no. I think Okafor is one of the best players on the game. Not to say Millard isn't, but with the four-star, four-star, it just isn't as good, right? Am I taking her over Dina? If I need a forward, I'm taking her over Dina. If I need a midfielder, I'm taking Dina over Millard, right? She has got some of the best Trevellas I've used. You know, these two placeholds she's got here, the pluses, aren't very good on her. And she's not bad in the air, but she's not going to win too much in the air for you. And these are really good if you're doing pop volleys, right? Other than that, acrobatics kind of a pointless play style. Pace, insane. She feels like she's got 99 pace. Shooting is some of the best I've used on the game, no doubt about it. She is so good with her shooting. You can kind of score from anywhere with her. Specifically, the Travellers were the best I've used, genuinely. I can't believe how good her Travellers were. Really, really pinpoint. You can score them from 30, 35 yards out which is mad to say with this card. The other thing I really like about her, in the attacking sense, is her passing. She can find the cutbacks really comfortably because her passing is so good. You know, 90 vision and 92 short pass means that she's very good for finding the cutbacks. And she's also got really good crossing as well. Dribbling wise, wild. Great sprint boost, considering she doesn't have quick step or rapid. Very surprised how good her sprint boost was. Um, left stick dribbling on her is mad partly because she's got press proven partly because she's just got insane left stick dribbling full stop and her r1 technical dribbling was quite good even though she doesn't have technical which was quite a big surprise she felt like she did have technical silver which was nice to see she's also as i said not bad in the air she's not gonna win everything in the air for you but she's certainly decent enough in the air especially against like the likes of hakimi uh selma basha bon pastor players like that she will dominate in the air and that's the other thing that I really liked about this card and the marksman. She will destroy the woman pullbacks. Absolutely destroy them with her physicals. She's so fast and so strong up against the women that she just zooms past them so quickly. And you can get a cross in to look for the cutback or cut inside for the Travella. Lots of options. Her finesse shots were quite good as well. And I think this is the best option if you're not doing Okafor or you're not doing Dina Mbibe, or however you say his name. This card is very, very fun to play with, and is actually quite meta. The only thing that lets her down is not a five-star weak foot or five-star skills. Wish they gave her five-star skills, but she's still an awesome card, guys. As I said, if you're not doing Dina or Okafor, this is the third best option, absolutely. Go and get her. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're doing with your evolutions right now as well, guys. And yeah, give this card a try, and I promise you, you will quite enjoy it. She's going to get a nine out of 10 from me. I think she's very, very decent. And if she had five star skills, I'd probably take her over Oka 4. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to play review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.